Hello and welcome to this video series highlighting new features in Talon Studio 6.2. Like our new Splunk component, T-Splunk Event Collector, which you can use to get event data into Splunk. In this presentation, we'll configure the HTTP Event Collector feature in Splunk, and then set up a job using this new component to send the event data to Splunk. In this example, the Splunk server has already been installed under C Program Files Splunk. Before starting the Splunk server, set the HTTP Event Collector Server protocol by navigating to the Inputs Configuration file and setting the value of the global parameter. Enable SSL. 1 means HTTPS, 0 is HTTP. In this example, the HTTP protocol is used, so we'll set the value to 0. Now, let's start the Splunk server. Enter the command and... OK, it's running. Now we can log into it. Go to Settings, Data Inputs, HTTP Event Collector, Global Settings, and enable the HTTP Event Collector feature. This opens up the HEC port, which is 8088 by default. Then Splunk can start listening on the port for incoming request. Now click New Token and generate an HTTP Event Collector authentication token like this. The token is sent in the headers of the incoming data packets to authenticate them with Splunk. You can also find the token here. In this example, the selected index is main. OK, now let's set up the job. We'll call it Splunk. In this job, the tfix flow input component sends the event data to the tsplunk event collector component, which then puts the event data into Splunk. Finally, the tjava component displays the response code from Splunk, as well as other information on the console. We'll enter the server information and paste in the token, check the code, and save it. Now let's run the job. We see the response code is zero, which means the event has been successfully sent to Splunk. Now let's go to Splunk to search the event by the main index, and we see the event data is successfully indexed. This new Splunk component in Talon Studio 6.2 makes it really easy to get event data into Splunk. Please check out the other new feature videos in this series, as well as Talon.com and our community site for more technical information. Thanks for watching.